I don't know how to do this. That's okay, <laughs> Diane. I mean, we know none of us know how to do it. We just wing it. Okay. Diane Haberer. Uh, Haber? Haber? Haber. Haber. Uh, we met you last year and a, a couple years ago with Ty Laska. Tim's not here. We, we met Tim. I saw Tim last night, uh, but, uh, you know, a great guy and, and, and has been innovating for a really long time in sailing. Um, I think probably the coolest thing that you showed me that you got coming out for a wide application is that new two-to-one halyard. It comes with a shiv. So all the other ones have always been without a shiv, pretty much from everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and this one now comes with a shiv. And what, what is that? What's the shiv? Is it is it going to be able to deal with the loads? Is it all? We actually, it took us three years to come out with this because of the shiv. It has a specific metallic polycarbon. I have no idea what the complex is, <laughs> but Tim knows better. But we did. We had to design a machine to test it, and it took three years to find the proper shiv formula. He is to a get perfectionist, in isn't he? Yes, he is. That's yeah. why he's a doctor. <laughs> uh, I know, I know. So, but they're all coming out. So, what else have you done here? You've got some really big stuff here. We have the this old Sparcraft SS20. We got the molds, cleaned them up. We've enlarged it to an SS40. This is a 40,000 pound working load, 80,000 pound brake. This one, we have the smaller one. We made it to an SS10 size. It's a 10,000 pound working load, 20,000 pound braking strength. And um, then we have our T50s, which we've had last year. And we took them and we made a T40. That will be out at the beginning of next year. We just got the castings. Um, we reinvented the pole lens for a couple of customers who wanted it for a so this, carbon so, fiber. So explain, this was the old, this was Intrepid's this, old this pole lens. The Intrepid 2 original Sparcraft, we cleaned that up. And then they said, well this is too heavy, too big, too bulky. They said, we're going to use carbon fibers, not aluminum. And we said, okay, tell us what size you want. And so they gave us... The, the pole end dimensions. It went from a round pole down, tapered it so that it wouldn't torque on them. Right. And so we re, we took we took this part off. We took this part off and made it a nice clean. And it's much lighter. It's really light. Mhm. Mm Very cool. Well, well, thank you for showing us around. You're uh, check out uh, Tylaska.com. Um, always with some really really great solutions for. I mean, you know, they, Tim just has led the way in a lot of things. You know, you guys are small, and and uh, but you do good stuff. So thank and you. If you have anything that you can't find out there that you want designed or need, just call us, and if we can make a make a fitting for you, somebody else out there needs the same one. So. All right, great. Well, thanks again, Diane. You're welcome. Take it easy.